Hello everybody, and welcome back to the building of New Mapleton. Now, New Mapleton is a true vanilla city in City Skylines. I'm playing on a Mac here, and things are going really well. We've just hit the big city milestone, and we're getting ready to make some big changes and some big growth. Uh, we're also having power problems all of a sudden. Oh dear, what's going on there? Yep, we need more power. So let's start with that. The company uh, that's supposed to be taking care of power for New Mapleton is called Free Air. And they're slacking a little bit, so I think we're actually going to build another one of these. Get ahead of things, because we're going to do a lot of building today. Now, with the milestone of the big city, we can build two new really important amenities. The first is the crematorium, something we haven't been able to build yet, so we're going to start by building those right away. Build one over here by the current cemetery. I think these give some noise pollution, don't they? Oh, no. No noise, no pollution, so we'll put it right here. That's more than enough for now, which is good, because uh, we have a full cemetery over here, which we eventually want to decommission. So we're going to go ahead and start emptying that. Um, I do eventually want to decommission these two, because they make a lot of noise over here that bothers these residents. But since we are having some power issues before... Oh no, we're okay now. Yeah, let's go ahead and decommission those. We don't need them. See, those people are very happy about this. It's going to get a lot quieter in that uh, Maple Grove area, and we're still okay on power, so that's good. Now the other thing we need to build, oh actually wait, hang on, we have something else we can decommission. This landfill right here is now completely empty, so we're going to remove it and eventually we'll build in this area, but that's for another day. The other thing we can build right now is the water treatment facility. Create a little noise pollution, but no pollution at all. So we can replace our existing water treatment options with, with a couple of these. Now in order to maintain realism, I'm going to build these in real time. So like this is how it would be done in the real world. You'd have to build your new facilities, connect them, get them operational, and then decommission your old facilities one by one as you have the capacity. Um, now for the highway build, that gets a little more complicated. I don't think I'm going to do that because I didn't build the initial uh, <laughs> uh, interchange. It was just a stock interchange and I've never built an interchange before, so we'll see how that goes. Now what we do want to do is we're going to start building a kind of governmental seat down in this area of the town. So we can build uh, eventually the tax office. We're also going to build the courthouse. We also have this oppression office. Maybe we'll build that instead of the tax office for now, although it's a little bit more expensive. Um, and we'll leave some space for some of these other really great assets here. Um, like perhaps the Posh Mall can go down in this area too, in the shopping district. Or maybe down closer to the beach. But we want to build that area. We're going to expand this area. Oop, there's an abandoned house. That's not a good sign. Is that water? No. Oh, yeah, water. And so we can really grow this city down in this new area, down by the beach, where I think people are really going to want to live. The other thing that needs to happen is we're going to get the train station to come and have the train station right around here. And then this interchange is also a bit problematic. Um, it's not the best interchange we could have here. Like we want nice flow right across here from one side of the city to the other. Uh, and these little nodes here have double the traffic hitting them. So if we can avoid that, that will be an improvement. I think we also need uh, <laughs> another connection in here. Yeah. Let's start with that. Okay. So I think it's time to get started on this project, because that's going to be really time consuming. Um, Earl and Jocelyn have agreed that's the way to go, um, but I think we'll, we'll do a little zoning first, because we can 
grow our residence here, grow our commercial and office and residence here, uh, and let the city grow while we do that building work. Now as New Mapleton grows, we're gonna need more offices, uh, and more commercial zones. Uh, this is really gonna be our main downtown area. Uh, I'm hoping that the buildings will start to grow a bit taller, but that may take some time. And we also need to do a bit of terraforming, I think, before we get too far on this. So the train station will be down here. It can come out of a tunnel right about there. Leave that space open. But then that means we need to make a nice graded road here. So that's what we're going to start with. And we're having power problems again. What is going on? Guess the wind's down a little bit. <laughs> All right, back to our terraforming here. Let's try the freeform tool. Much better. Much better. I wish they had an undo button. I do that that kind of a mistake far too frequently. Okay, so the train station will go here. So we'll build a little uh, road off here for that, I think. Maybe actually here, I bet I can get it down here. Have it kind of loop in. Nice downtown train station. We'll get to that in a minute. First, I want to build up our grid up here for what will be our government office building sector. We'll make this a no parking area. We don't want people parking near our government buildings. Now we're gonna do something a little cute here, I think with the roads. Let's take a look at our building. Uh, let's start with the uh, the courthouse. It's pretty big. It's got this little hexagonal shape, so let's build a hexagonal road around it. Now as I'm building this part, I want to actually get back to following some design principles, so really thinking about you know, how this is going to feel when people get here, not just making it practical. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Nice and symmetric. It's raining. Of course, it's going to be slightly asymmetric, but eh, what can you do? Okay. Well, that's where it's going to go. What else do we want to build here? Lazarette Plaza. Everything is one brick off. You know what? That bothers me just enough. I'm going to fix it. I like symmetry. wonky street there, but we'll just have to deal. And we're going to start with our courthouse. Now perfectly centered. Okay, and I'm going to imagine some offices around here, so we'll build some along this road, hopefully just to get power over here side has a big hill, so we're not going to build anything there just yet. In the meantime, let's build some residential over here. Now the addition of the community college has really uh, helped this community to grow a bit. Um, and Jocelyn is actually uh, owning, has owned a lot of the real estate here, so she's finally selling it off, but um, she doesn't always have the best of intentions for others. She's really just, you know, making a cash grab. I'm gonna put some slightly smaller houses over here. Just do three blocks. Um, this is probably gonna be a, a lower income housing kind of situation, not too many, or you know, lower cost anyway. Because I imagine not too many people are gonna wanna live by the highway here. We'll have to put a nice buffer of trees in on this side. 
of the street. With the highway being sunken, uh, it helps with the noise, but we'd still want to build a wall there if we could, maybe in the future. Now we need to, oh, power. Still no power, oh gosh, just not quite connected. Yeah, there we go, bingo. Now our courthouse has power. Okay, now we need some greenery. I think down here by the beach, somebody's gonna want a dog park. So we're gonna build a dog park. Right there. Make those people very happy. Yep, and now we're seeing the leisure going up already. I think we can do better though. Let's have a plaza with the tables right across from this. You know what, we're just gonna build this down here for now. Let it increase the property values as we build some more. High density residential. We're going to continue this little checkerboard here so that it's not too busy. And we can always build in between later if we're really, you know, if we become like Japan. But I like a city with a little more space in it. Ooh, and we're having garbage problems. Very not good. Yes, we need another incineration plant. Now I know some people like to come in and just blast everything with zoning all in one shot. But I like to do some slow zoning, especially for residential, because it prevents you from having too massive of a death wave later on. Something we desperately want to avoid after our cases of Grovid. So how are we doing on power? Oh, we've got lots of power now, of course. So no worries there. All right, I think it's time to start work on this interchange. So we're going to start with a little, uh, oops. Well, we're going to mess that up first. We're going to really, really improve this interchange. So we're going to have this ramp come up and go straight over here, bypass this all, and then have it go the other way with a flyover, which is going to take a lot of land over here as well. But before we even do that, we need to run a bridge right up the middle. So I think we're going to start with the uh, off ramps first, because they're off and on ramps on the outside, because they're nice and easy to do. So here we go. Wish me luck. I think the next time I build an interchange, I'm going to try really hard to do it the way you would in real life without stopping time. So building, uh, you know, alternate routes, detours, all of that. Um, and just suffering through it like we all do when there's a big construction project. Um, but I learned a couple things while building this one, uh, as you can see. This is future me talking right now. Um, you know, you have to sometimes destroy some things that you wouldn't normally destroy in order to get it to build okay, like there. I just destroyed those main lanes, which I don't think I normally would have to do, but in this case I did. Um, and these flyovers are just challenging to get them to connect exactly the way you want without any of the fancy mods. So that's a learning process for me. Um, I know some of the more advanced players who, are, who uses, use mods make this so much easier um, with node controller and things like that, but for, for those of you just playing vanilla or not into modding or playing on console, uh, you can do pretty much anything you want still. It's just not necessarily as fluid a process as you can see me struggling a bit here. 